if you are under the age of 18 and are watching this video, please stop now. This content was not intended for you. Hey everybody, it's Tamika. I am here with a quick unboxing and a project share. This unboxing is from Panda Hall. I've done several unboxings and projects from them for them and I will put all those videos down below in the description box if you guys are interested in seeing what I've gotten and done before. Today is just a short haul. Um, so I picked up these, um, you know, these cute little uh, tassels is what they're called and they're all pink. So I... <laughs> Definitely won't have any problem using all of these. The heads are silver. You guys know I have a I have a hard time opening up these little Ziploc bags, child. So I will not have a hard time using these. And look how cute and tiny these things are. Oh, they are so adorable. <laughs> With the silver top, they're so, so pretty. Anyway, they have a little charm on them. Super, super adorable. And I just thought they would be very very cute to use on some keychains i'll be making so most of them are um want or won't mind pink so i'll have to do some masculine colors uh for the rest of them but i definitely will have enough to do keychains using pink tassels so i picked that up i also got some um leather roll I thought this was really cute. It's thick. I thought it'd be cute on uh, making some bowls, but I, I really thought it'd be cute with some handles or I can make a cute little um, belt. Need a buckle for that. But I just thought it was really nice. It's thicker than I thought it was going to be. Um, so anyway, I thought the pattern was really pretty. So we'll find, we'll definitely find something to do with that. And then I grabbed some molds. Now these are bead molds. I've been into these molds and things here lately. I got two kinds and each two different sizes. So I have the square mold. You can use it in resin. Definitely I'm going to use it for resin. So they come in a pack of six and you here are the larger ones and here are the smaller little beads. So uh, I'll have all these linked down below and I have the same for circle beads. So you can personalize your beads. You could add whatever you want and then boom and done. So that'll be fun to play with. I also picked up some of this. Um, I don't, it's not faux leather. It's like pleather. So, no, is that the same thing as faux leather? It's like that plastic. I don't know. Wait till I wait until I open it and then you'll see what I'm talking about. But I thought it would be cute. It's iridescent. And I thought it, it would be cute with making, again, some bowls or making like a little couch or something. Goodness grief. I'm, I'm just opening and opening and opening. And it's, it's this color, but it's a safety cover on the top. There's like a plastic coating so on the top so that you can take it off. Like this clear protective coating. Let me... Let me get it off for you. Look how cute. Pretty. It looks a little orangey on here, but it's a iridescent, really cute little pink. So I thought that would be cute for some uh, little bows or, or a little pouch or something. So anyway, I picked that up. And last but not least, I grabbed some clear sticker paper clear printable sticker paper um you can run this through your um laser printer and then do what you want after that you can use it you can print color cut it off sticker it on something it's clear um sheets and it's like eight by eleven or eight point eight and a quarter by eleven so this is the yellow backing, and then this is just a clear sheet. So it's pretty fairly thin, so you should be able to uh, print on it nicely. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and print on that using my laser printer and make some labels um, and do that for my with my project so today. So I'm going to clear this off, and we'll come back with our project. Okay, so I am going to be using these... Um, spray mist bottles that I also got from Panda Express in another haul. Panda Express. I'm hungry. I got from Panda Hall in another haul. Um, so I am going to grab one of these, a top, make sure it has a, a lid. And I'm also going to grab these funnels because I'm just not sure what the steadiness 
of the project in my hand today. So I'm gonna grab one of the funnels, which are included in this. So this is gonna go along with my project for um, the Valentine swap that I'm hosting over on my YouTube membership in my Facebook group. So I'm gonna make a coordinating um, spray to go with her package and to also go, and I don't know if this video is up yet, to also go with the handmade uh, candles that I made for her as well. So this will require a little bit of alcohol. So I grabbed uh, some alcohol from the liquor store. I just grabbed this little one. It's like $2 and you get um, 50 milliliters, whatever that, whatever that is. So you'll need some alcohol and then you'll need some essential oil because my candles are this basil and mint. I'm going to continue to go with this basil and mint theme and then you'll also need some um distilled or bottled water and i have that over here and that's it so what i'm gonna do is the first thing is grab my alcohol and then you're gonna need a half a teaspoon of that just need a little bit okay Put that away, save that for another project. And you're gonna need some drops. Do it to your heart's content. I am just gonna add like 15 drops or pour what I think is equivalent of 15 drops. Okay. And then um, you want to go ahead and swirl that around and just make sure that the alcohol and the oil is mixed together properly. I just in a circle, don't shake it, just swirl it around. Or you can take like a, a stir stick or um, the bottom of a paintbrush and just swirl it around in there as well. And then the next thing you're gonna do is add your water to fill it up. Not all the way, just to like the hump. And I smell that basil and mint. Okay, I'm going to put this top on. And I'm going to give it a swirly shake. I don't have any cloth. I'm going to spray it on this flower. Just make sure it smells how I want it to. Oh, it's very basil and minty. Oh, I love it. Oh, that smells really nice. Perfect. Absolutely love it. I'm going to spray the bottle with another bottle. And this is alcohol. Why did I clean that off and then go back and wet it up again? I'm cleaning this off with alcohol to remove like my greasy fingerprints or anything off of that. So then I, when I'm ready to label it, it's nice and clean. So I'm going to set that over here. That went off without a hitch. Love when that happens. So now we have our paper here and I decided to use the rest of the paper because I didn't need that many labels. So I just needed one, two if I had too much, if I made too much, but I didn't, but I am going to make me one because I have it here. I don't know if you can see basil and mint pillow spray. And then the rest of them I just have created by Scrap the World for like my cards or my projects or something I want to label. Okay, so we're going to take our little basil label here and put it on the bottle all right package it up oh let me grab some tissue paper not tissue paper and shred it I'm going to package it the same way that I packaged up my little candles. Make a little hole down here. Try to put that in the front. I'm going to grab some string. Tie this in a knot. Okay. That is so cute. Instead of using more of this, I'm actually gonna use one of these. 
thread it through the leftover string. We'll tie this around the front so that it can stay a little bit better. We'll just thread this through one of the holes. I mean, we'll just thread that through one of the strings here and then tie it. Loosely tie it so it can hang. And then we cut off this extra. There we go. So pretty. Super, super cute. All right, guys, I hope you like this easy video. I hope you'll try this at home. Do check out all of the links that I put in the description box for Panda Haul uh, from the things that I use in this video. And if you have a second, take a second and like this video. I would definitely appreciate it. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.